Good morning, good afternoon. Raquel Redmond from Brava Art Press presenting the second part of this clay project, Cartoons in Three Dimension. We have here two complete models. We have to wait until they are dry to then paint. Here is a painted model and this is what are we going to do in this uh, second part, to actually paint the clay models. Here we have the three stages. Uh, we have the very wet clay that we uh, did before that I have to finish, it's unfinished. Here we have the, the clay that has been drying for a week, it's, it's nice and, and dry. And probably when you start drying your clay, uh, if you have some plastic bags um, at the class, in the classroom or at home, it's good to put just gently put the, the plastic bag like that and let it dry for about three days and then pull the plastic bag out and let it dry for another two days or until ne the next session. The reason is that when you put the plastic on, the clay dries a, a bit slowly and it doesn't break. So, and here we have the one that I started already painting. Really beautiful, this um, clay cartoons, really beautiful in colors, uh, bright colors. So I have to make a decision about a skin color and I'm not going to do a skin color, natural skin tones. I'll use my imagination to create some kind of blue skin. So I'll just give it blue skin. And also um, I had given um, this cartoon some color hair. See how we go with that for painting of the skin. I can co go back and do details with a small paintbrush, I'll show you. Now, I think I got to the point that I need the, the small paintbrush, so I'll use this a small paintbrush to do details. So I continue on a little bit more with the blue, mix in there, and I'll apply the blue here. Because this paintbrush, the small paintbrush, give me more, um, I can go into the little bits and pieces there, so painting really carefully there. And I haven't finished the vest, this color, so I have to go back to that color. So that color I have in this big container. If you are very small, it's better to use a big container so you have a special brush to paint just that color. Um, got here to finish. and a bit there, so make sure that all the bits and pieces are painted. And now I'll get back to the small brush because I, need, I like to make details. Uh, lips, red lips. They're, they're nearly purple, got purple lips. It doesn't matter, when you use the imagination, anything can happen. You can have and some dark eyes there. You see the small brush is perfect to do all these the small details. And, and the teeth, I'll do the white teeth. Teeth inside. Ah, it looks nice. So um, probably if I use my imagination, I could um, do some more details using the small brush, a spotty jacket, like that. More spots, spots, spots like that, a spotty jacket, and then some lines to gray there. This lady has um, a, a, a black collar. So, and we can put green spot on, the, on, the, on her hair. Ooh. 
So that's how it goes, using the imagination. Here we have the finished uh, character or cartoons in three dimension. We have this one that has been already painted. Uh, this one is dry, uh, it's ready to paint. And this has just been made. We made it on camera, so it's a, it's, it's a bit wet. It needs to dry for about a week. A week is a good time. So next, uh, next step will be to uh, do a drawing, because it's nice to always start drawing and then uh, finish drawing, because it gives you better ideas. It's, and it's lovely to draw something that you have created, something that is totally unique. This is the drawing uh, session. We have the three of them on the center of the table, ideally, and it would be nice if you place them in such a way that for a student sitting in different positions, they will be able to see one in front. Like this one I made, I painted. It would be nice if it's in front of me so I can draw this one to start with. And I'm going to see that on the side. And probably that one will go on the side too. But the students on the other side, on this side, this will be in front, that will be on the side, and then this will be on the back. So this is uh, the way you draw. I'm drawing from that one that is looking this way, and that's the hair, funny hair as we did. And it, it's going to go like that with a big mouth. So practically for when you draw, you're going to use only one crayon. Ideally, it should be black, because black will give you the best results. So the teeth. Oh, that's nice with big teeth and the neck and I'm coming that way and then you can create a, probably some a cape you can continue on creating a pocket with lines pressing down hard so you get a good um, a good impression a good black line this is just line drawing that we're not having any any um, color in yet so that is sort of an, an old lady and then I have another lady here with the big eyes and the eyebrows and the eyelids so I, I'm just moving my crayon around and enjoying this drawing very much. I love to draw like that because you get very um, uh, beautiful, expressive characters. You see that one that's coming up there with the head like that. So I'm going to stop this drawing because I have another one that is halfway through. So coming up and then there is another one on the back and probably when you do it in the classroom you will have more characters. So we go, I'll show you now how to apply the color. Here I have my drawing that I started applying the crayons. So it's important that um, all the crayons should be oil crayons because we're going to apply paint on the top. So they should be uh, non-running. The, uh, the old pastels are not going to run with the application of paint. So I have applied some of the colors here in a sort of a scribbly way like that, scribbly way like that, because I'll show you what is going to happen next. So this got a, a nice pink outfit and his skin is, what color is that? That's orange. And this got that red outfit uh, with blue buttons, I have to think about, and probably I'll give this one not. This one will have a, a, a blue face, so oh, a scribbly way like that, pressing, pressing fair, fairly hard, so you have a nice color coming out out of the uh, crayons like that, and that is going to be, and a bit on, on the background there see what happened and I got a, another color for the background 
there. I can do a couple of colors or three colors, a bit more background there. And um, probably we'll use this nice green to do hair. And go back to the black one to do this very marked expression. Red lips. And red ears. So we got to the point that we are ready to um, apply the paint. Ay, a little bit more on the background here. So as you can see, I, I haven't applied the color in a solid way. I, I'll show you what is a solid way. This is, if you want to apply color in, you see the color, how solid it is here? That is uh, just the, the crayons, no paint. You can do that too. You do your drawing with a black crayon and then you apply, you, you color in and you apply more details. But this time I like to do it not in a solid way, but in a scribbly way, and then apply paint and see what happens. So let's go for it. So this paint is the same paint that we used before to paint the um, characters, but I let it dry on this plate. I put little bits of paint there, and it dry for about a few days, like two or three days, and it's ready to go. So I like to create this character like that. I probably need a, a bigger paintbrush. I'll do the a bigger paint paintbrush. So the paint will give you will still show the color underneath because it's going to run like that. So you rub, you apply, and you create a nice watercolor like to go over the top. And probably we'll do this blue here. I'm going to leave the other ones unpainted, the faces. So I have a, a little bit of a variety. And there. And I'll leave it like that. So they are the alternative. That way or this way. And this is the project. Um, we are going to recap a bit because I like to uh, remind you, first of all, that um, along with the video, there is a PDF lesson on the website, bravaartpress.com, and your teacher or your mom and dad can go there and download the PDF. That means that is uh, they can print it and find out everything they need for this project. We started drawing. We started drawing from pictures. If you have pictures from magazines or holding a mirror, drawing your face. And uh, with black pens, of course, like that, with black pens. So from the drawing that is flat on a piece of paper, we, want to, we wanted to create uh, a piece of clay, a character made out of clay. Um, and the idea is to just work with the face and the shoulders and use uh, the exa ex exaggeration of the features, like big noses and funny hair, big ears, big mouth, big teeth, all of that, all of those ideas we apply there. So when we finish that, when we build it, let it dry and then paint it, we came to that. At the end, there's also opportunities to draw. So that is the drawing done from those three characters. Uh, it's a combination of oil crayons and a bit of watercolor, this paint that also, if, if you let it dry, it becomes a watercolor. But there is another possibility here, which is just to use only crayons. So that was our 
cartoons in three dimension project. We have many more projects coming, so keep watching. Thank you for um, supporting us. Thank you for doing our projects at home or in the classroom. It's so much fun, isn't it? Bye.